Oh, okay, okay, what if we do this for the intro? Hey, how do you turn a demon into an angel? Ah. You scare the hell out of them. No, uh, uh, what did one angel say to the other angel at the party? What? Are you having a good time? I, I don't, I don't. I... If you're a fan of all things audiophile and high-end audio gear, then be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss our latest reviews and videos right here at Moon Audio. So we have another face-off for you today, the Angel and the Diablo. It's a solid matchup for a number of reasons that we'll get to. Both the Earman Angel and the iFi Diablo are some of the top portable DAC and headphone amplifiers on the market at this price range. So let's check them out. The Angel is a nice striking blue color when compared to the fiery red of the Diablo. The Angel is a more angular, as in rectangular uh, design as opposed to Diablo's sleek curves. On the front end of the Angel, you will find a 4.4 millimeter balanced headphone jack, a 3.5 millimeter single-ended jack, a gain button, a two-way switch for direct or preamp out, and the volume knob, which doubles as the on-off switch. On the back of the Angel, you have a USB-C charging port, USB-C port for data, a SPDIF input, a 3.5 millimeter single-ended line out, and a 4.4 millimeter balanced line out. Unlike the Diablo, the Angel comes with minimal accessories. A USB-C cable, that's it. It's not a bad thing because it's basically all you need, but it would have been nice to have some cable variety for various connectivity options. It's hard to miss the Diablo. It's bright red chassis says, I'm here to party. The thing you'll notice about these DAC amps is that they are designed for function rather than aesthetics. Even though they might sport some flashy colors, all the important stuff is really under the hood. It's a no frills experience with the Diablo, but that just means there's nothing to distract you from your music. On the front face of the amp, you'll find an unbalanced quarter inch headphone jack, a balanced 4.4 millimeter jack, a three-way switch for the gain settings, an LED indicator, and the volume control knob, which doubles as the on-off switch. The back of the unit is also well-equipped with a SPDIF input, a 4.4 millimeter balanced output, a USB-C power port, and iFi's male USB Type-A input for connections to various cable options like the CCK. The gain switch has three modes, turbo, normal, and eco, setting the output power needed for what you need. The materials, connectors, and overall feel of the headphone amplifier are quality. Despite the elongated size of the headphone amp, it's not as heavy or unwieldy to carry, which is great for overall portability. What I really appreciate is that they've included a barrage of accessories with the Diablo. A wall charger, USB 3.0 cable, a USB Type A to Type C cable, a quarter inch to 3.5 millimeter adapter, a squared around fiber conversion head, a USB type C connector for the power supply, a 4.4 millimeter to twin XLR cable, and a really nice travel case, which stores the Diablo and all accessories nicely. Overall, port selection is comparable, size is close enough, and both amps have a sturdy build quality and light enough for portable use. So far, nothing really sets one apart from the other until we get to sound quality. So now we get to the good stuff. The Angel is equipped with the very versatile and popular ESS ES9038Q2M chip that has great signal to noise ratio and total harmonic distortion measurements. I think the ESS chips lean on the more detailed side of things when compared to their AKM counterparts, and this is certainly the case too when sizing the Angel up to Diablo's Burr Brown chipset. 
The Angel has some great transparency across the spectrum and it certainly shows off its attention to detail and clarity in everything I threw at it. Classical and jazz sound expansive. The presentation is surprisingly impactful for rock genres as well. The Angel is able to produce some very nice and thumpy low end, tight but not restrained. Kick drums and bass guitars have a natural resonance that comes out in the performances, something that I really can't say about many portable DAC amps out there. Vocals really shine with the Angel too. There's a clarity in the mid range. I hear a slight boost in the upper mids that help the singers not get too lost in the mix with the rest of the instruments. I like iFi a lot. They make some great gear. In our last face off, we took a look at the iFi Griffin against the Chord Mojo 2. Two awesome decks. The Griffin was packed to the brim with features and functionalities. I mean, iFi literally takes all the bells, whistles, and gimmicks away from the Diablo and instead focuses on two things, power and sound. That's it. The two things a DAC amp should do well, and it does. The Diablo, like other iFi devices, uses Burr Brown DAC chips. It's a natural sounding chipset with some great low end extension thanks to the power packed in this thing. The sound itself is crisp with plenty of detail, but great resolution across the frequency spectrum. It just sounds good. The Diablo provides some incredible layering and depth to the audio that I've only heard in desktop setups. And the fact that you can take it with you just makes it that much more stunning. Now, when it comes to comparing the Angel to the Diablo, there are some things to consider. Both DAC amps sound great, there's no denying that. The Angel is more detailed than the Diablo, showing off more clarity and mids, which make it a great choice for vocal-centric genres. The Angel also has a much tighter bass response than the Diablo, sounding a bit more punchy and still providing great low ends. The Diablo, on the other hand, excels with amazing layering and depth. It's more musical sounding than the Angel, with the Burr Brown DAC sounding incredibly natural and dynamic. Personally, I thought the Diablo had a much wider presentation or soundstage than the Angel, largely in part due to the increased power and great layering. Of course, if you didn't have the opportunity to A-B test these side by side, you would think that each DAC amp would offer a substantial upgrade to your portable sound, and they do. You can't go wrong with either, but wait for the verdict to figure out if the Diablo or the Angel might be a better fit for your personal setup. Okay, so sound recap. Angel is more detailed, tighter bass, mid forward, great for vocals, and less bottom end than the Diablo. Diablo has better layering, depth to sound, musical signature, it's natural sounding, and wider presentation than the Angel. So when it comes to features for the Angel and Diablo, there aren't any really. You have your ports, knobs, and great sound. That's it. This isn't to say that the amps don't pack anything under the hood in regards to impressive tech and components, but you're not going to find much to tinker with on the device itself to adjust your sound. No Bluetooth, no screens, no filters, no EQ settings. You just don't need them on the Angel or Diablo. You can't go wrong with the Angel or Diablo. Both are true high-end sonic upgrades to your portable system. It's just a matter of figuring out which one is best for you. They're essentially the same form factor, same I.O. mostly, same-ish price, etc. The two big differences are power and sound, and that's why either the Diablo or the Angel might be a better fit for you. If you have some seriously power-hungry headphones, then the Diablo should be your pick, no question, due to its high power output with the turbo option. The Angel still has great power output for a headphone amplifier of this size, and the Gain Plus is a great option for those with high sensitivity IEMs and headphones. In regards to sound, if you like vocal-centric genres or prefer more detail and clarity in your music listening, then the Angel is the best option. The 9038Q2M DAC is well known for its revealing and transparent signature. 
If you like a more musical sound signature with plenty of low end resolution and depth, then we recommend the Diablo. We'll post up some genre recommendations here to recap. Angel, Angel, Jazz, Blues, R&B, Folk, Pop, Diablo, Rock, Classical, Alternative, Rap, and EDM. We'll be sure to link to the full comparison and review in the description below. There you can find more info, our complete Diablo review, sound impressions, comparisons, and more. If you like this video, feel free to give a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss our future videos on all the best audiophile gear. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. And as always, thanks for watching.